Throughout history, we've had several different icons who are real, but at the same time, we've also had icons who are completely fictional and or mythological. So, for today's episode, we're going to take a little bit of a twist, and instead of doing a real-life person, we'll be doing someone from Greek mythology. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk, where we talk about a historical figure of sorts or group, and I give off my reaction to state on how it's in, that particular figure has impacted me and my life. Today I'm going to be talking about the Greek god slash demigod I believe, Heracles, or as many, many, many people know him, Hercules. Now Heracles in Greek mythology is not quite what Disney, as many know him from, leave him out to be. For the most part, a lot of it is quite the opposite, but at the same time, it's a light-hearted, trying to aim towards a children-type audience, or a family-type audience, company. With hiding secret in the background kind of things. But I digress. Heracles had quite the impact on the world back then, for many different reasons. And for decades. Centuries, even. This particular Greek god has been relatable to some and to others, kind of just as kind of a symbol, depending on what angle you go at. I mean, a good example of the symbolic part is that he is kind of a big deal when it came to the Olympics. I mean, part of his backstory involve a big part of it does involve the Olympics when they kind of around the time when they first started when they were more kind of part of the mythos rather than a worldly thing a worldwide activity but that's just a fraction of his entirety story I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the story itself because that's not what the video is directly about but I will say this a lot of the things that were interpreted in Hercules, the Disney film, is not quite exactly what hap happened in the mythos. A lot of the things that happened in the mythos were very devastating. Whereas in the movie, which I actually personally grew up on, not really. There was one devastating thing, but it got fixed almost immediately. But I digress. Heracles, another impact on the world he had, his story, the reason it's relatable is because he, he went through trial after trial after trial from the gods back then. And I guess in a sense, kind of like many demigods, in stories that a lot of people know, like Percy Jackson and the Olympians, it's kind of the same concept, it's the same ideals. And a lot of people nowadays can still relate to Heracles for the darker stuff that brought on A, his existence, and B, his mental state in the long haul. He, as a god in the long haul, wasn't as good a person as many would like to believe. Doesn't mean he was a bad person, but he wasn't particularly what a lot of people would nowadays define as a hero. Like, again, the Disney movie interpreted. Because a lot of people look at him and go, oh yeah, from that film, totally realistic. No. No. That's why I keep bringing that up. 
Heracles does. Like, the reason this particular god went through the kind of things he did, when the mythos was created, and this is more I speculation on my end, because I don't know who came up with the ideas for these characters and spread it like kind of a religion type thing, but that person must have had a lot going on in their life and they needed some icon to look to. And everything that um, Heracles had gone through is probably very similar to what this real life individual went through. This is speculation though, but it makes sense based off all the trials and tribulations that Heracles did go into. Once again, I'm not going to go into detail about all the mythology that Heracles did have to do. If you're curious, uh, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video about it. However, what kind of impact did Heracles so long ago, the real mythos, have anything to do with my current life and how does it impact me now? It's an interesting question, and it took some time for me to think, especially since the one thing that did core me wanting to talk about it was my the movie that I used to watch as a kid all the time, and I used to literally dance to the music in the movie Hercules. But the real Heracles, why or in what way did the real Heracles' real mythos have any kind of impact on my life. Well, I can't, again, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, but when I first learned about the real story behind what happened with Heracles, it caught me off guard, but as I said earlier while describing it, in vague, but while describing it, how the reason I said relatable because to me, in a sense, to a specific degree, I found that those people at the time who I was trying to help, friends of mine, in high school, I found that many of these individuals could relate to the person. And the fact that I was able to describe this to these people and tell them, well, look at the story of Heracles. One big thing about this god. He was very persistent. Not in a bad way either. He kept going. Literally until his death. <laughs> and I'll, when I claim this statement to many of the individuals who had, who I did have to explain this to, who had gone through similar things, a lot of them did a turn for the better. Some of them didn't quite understand, and those ones, I don't know what happened. But a lot of the ones that I do recall turning for the better, it's because I said stuff like that. Were there many of them? Yeah, because a lot of people have a tendency to act on... In high schools, a lot of, tendency, a lot of people have a tendency to act on stereotypes and believe them. Which, honestly, nowadays that's basically... Something I've noticed, at least from those who are around my age, but I don't know. Because of that aspect, I am able to describe this kind of thing and it's way more relatable. Thanks stereotypes. Am I hating on stereotypes on this? No. It's just kind of a fact of the matter. Because of stereotypes, I'm able to go up, Heracles went through something similar, here's a list. Once again, I'm not going to talk about that in this video because it's irrelevant to what I'm trying to make the point out to be. In this sense, in short, the way Heracles has impacted my life in an, a positive way is that he has given me reference, even though he's not a real individual, maybe real in mind, in, in belief, but has been proven to be myth. Maybe there's still some who believe in him out there, no hate to those who do, if there are, but for those who don't, like myself, a mythos character, a mythological character, becoming much an idol as he did, gave me a kind of hold to help 
most of the, my past friends out of a bind. And that, to me, is a very positive impact that a past icon has had. Real or not, that guide definitely had that impact because of it. Now that being said, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of History Talk. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, it's only this is only the second episode, but if you are enjoying this series, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now the links were a bit iffy when I tried to set them up for yesterday's video, but we're going to put it this way. Like what I did with yesterday's video. If you have not checked out the channel yet, please consider doing so. If you want something very specific that might match your fancy a bit better, um, click the link on one of the sides of my head, or if you want to check out the rest of the series for this particular series, click the playlist that's on the other side of my head. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this episode of History Talk, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.